first of all, do you think Connell's chain uh, deserves all the publicity it's getting? I know you follow the Instagram account. It's got its own emoji. Can you tell us yeah. something we don't know about the chain? And uh, yeah. How yeah. Well, frankly, I don't think the chain's getting enough attention. No, <laughs> I think, uh, no, I think it's, I, I, I struggle to kind of wrap my head around why it has um, garnered the response that it's garnered. And I think, like I was talking to journalists before about it, I think there's maybe something um, slightly totemic about the chain in terms of Connell, because I can't really compute why it has um, why the response that it's got, but I, I, I'm not complaining, you know. Uh, you follow the Instagram account, right? Are you reading what everyone's writing about it? And uh, it, it, do you, is it really from Argos? No, that, that chain is categorically from from Argos. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't really uh, go into the comment section in general because I think that can be a scary place for uh, for Instagram users. But um, I just think, I think the, the chain's page is coming from a really good place. It's coming from, from a love for the character and... Uh, yeah, it's it's just exciting to watch a page grow and grow and grow and to feel somewhat attached to it is really nice. Yeah, um, <clears throat> talking of Instagram as well, uh, I was looking last night, you've been singing in lockdown uh, and you've got a great voice. Um, uh, what? Who would you most like to duet with if you could duet with anyone? What, is, what does music mean to you? What does music... Look, there's tons of artists out there like... Uh, Phoebe Bridgers, Billie Eilish, uh, like Niall Horan, loads of loads of people out there that I think are uh, incredibly talented, and I think uh, I'd be firmly out of my depth in their company. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you never know, you never know, mate. <laughs> you never know. Look, fingers crossed, Adam. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, also, I mean, uh, everyone's talking about the sex uh, in the show. There's 41 minutes of it. Someone's counted it. 12 percent. Um, what do you think is the sexiest moment in the show? And uh, how awkward was it to tackle those scenes? Yeah, to be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't awkward at all in the sense that uh, me and Daisy were particularly well looked after in terms of the process that was put in place. We had an intimacy coordinator who really um, established a firm working process that allowed me and Daisy to really lean into the characters and, and, and try to bring those scenes to life as truthfully as possible while still feeling safe and, and comfortable. I think for me, the sexiest moment in the show. Um, oh, that's a hard one. I think. I think there's moments of like that's not necessarily directly attached to sex, but moments when, like for example, it's popped into my head, and I probably will go back on this answer at some point. But the moment when Connell arrives to the house with his face kind of busted open, and he says to Marianne that her number is the only number that he, he knows off by heart. And I think that that's just the, the emotional intimacy of that to me is quite just a sexy thing to be able to discuss. Adam's gone. Uh, then, sorry, <laughs> it's been revealed you had like a, you had a modesty pouch on in the, well, there, what, how, what's that like? And is it as unsexy as it sounds? <laughs> I can confirm that they are uh, definitely really, really unsexy. Um, it's basically just a, a an item of clothing that you um, use to cover your genitals, and uh, yeah, it's 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 just it, it's the correct protocol for shooting scenes like that. Thank you, Paul. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, Adam.